Hey, my name is Dan. This particular video is a free video from my full course on HTML5 banner advertising using Adobe Animate. There are also free files and I've got some finished files that I save after each YouTube video that you can download from my website. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. All right, let's get on to some banner making. Hey, this video, what we're gonna do is gonna look at our shape tween and do it kind of in context with some other parts, um, other layers and other objects because there's a little bit more to it. Showing in isolation was great in the last video to understand what a shape tween needs to be, but there is a few other things that we need to understand to work with animation in general in Adobe Animate. So to do it, we're gonna open up a project that I've built. So go to file, open, find your exercise files that you've downloaded from the site. Exercise files, open up the one here called shape underscore tween. Okay, and what I've done for you is I've created a layer here. I can turn the eyeball on and off. There's a wizard on it. I've changed the background color. I've created a new layer for us and I've called it magic. Um, and we're gonna do, yeah, get the wizard to do a little bit of magic with a shape tween. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a circle. What color is it gonna be? It's totally up to you. Uh, Okay, and I'm gonna draw a circle. What was the key I held down to make sure it goes perfectly straight, not an oval like this? That's right, shift, hold shift down. I'm gonna grab my black arrow, click it, drag it around. So I want it to be here. Um, and I can't group it, remember, for it to be a shape tween. And what I wanna do is maybe after 25 frames, um, I want it to change into, say, a star. So what I'm gonna do, remember, is right click, insert a blank keyframe something weird happens. I've got a blank keyframe, but then the wizard disappears. You can start to see down here on my timeline that the wizard here is only on this first keyframe. He doesn't extend all the way along like this frame here we do with the magic. Okay, so what we need to do is when we're animating, we need to extend out the background or any of the bits that need to stay around while the rest of the animation is running. The problem with that is I don't know how long this animation is gonna be. So don't sweat it, drag it out to kind of guess how long it might be and you'll end up moving it over and over again until you trim it all up right at the end. So I know it's at least gonna be this long, so I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna put in insert keyframe and also insert keyframe does is just duplicate this one along till here. Okay, um, and you'll see, so he's, he's along for the whole play time now. Okay, and we've got this blank keyframe here that I'd like to fill with a star. So I'm gonna grab the polygon tool or the poly star tool, go to my options, make sure it's set to star. How many points do I want it to be? I want it to be like 10. And the star um, point size, the higher it is, the less um, extreme it is. So I'm gonna go quite low because I want it to be quite pointy. So I'm gonna do 0.3, click okay. What color is it gonna be? I'm gonna use the same color as I did before. No, I'm not, I'm gonna change it to something else, blue. Click, hold and drag out, okay, and perfect. And I'm gonna grab my black arrow, I'm gonna click it once in the middle and move it to kind of where I think it should be. So over here, it's a circle and it's green. When it's at frame 25, it's a star and it's blue. The last thing I need to do, who remembers what the last thing I need to do to turn it into a shape tween? That's right, it is right clicking between anywhere between these two keyframes on the magic layer. I, have, I don't wanna do anything with the wizard layer. The wizard layer just sits there um, behind. I'm gonna right click this one and I'm gonna go to create shape tween. Okay, and you'll notice that if I drag my playhead down here and hit return, it should morph into this other star. And you can just keep tapping return on your keyboard or the enter key and it should keep previewing. Lovely, and he's got a little bit of magic going. All right, so there's a couple of things we needed to do is we needed to make sure that we keep extending that back along, okay? And what I'd like to do is actually, I want it to repeat and go back to the beginning. So I want it to go back down to the circle afterwards so it doesn't, it gets to the top here and then continues on and comes back down to the circle. So it kind of loops back and forth. So what I want to do is I would like this exact keyframe, okay, to be, say, say at 25, I want to do the exact same time, so 50 maybe even sooner, so only at, maybe at frame 40, I would like to go back to a circle. Instead of trying to draw a circle here, inserting a blank keyframe, trying to draw a circle, trying to line it up, okay, what you can do is actually, I just wanna copy this one. So I'm gonna right click it. So I've selected it, right click it, I'm gonna go, there's lots of different copies, so you gotta be careful. There's copy frames, there's all sorts of weird things in here. So I want to go to the one that says copy frames. Okay, I wanna click on 40, right click it, and then go to paste frames, okay, and 
You'll notice that there, he's back to being a circle. Um, you'll notice that the background has disappeared because you can see it finishes there. So I can do, I could add another keyframe, but it's easier actually just to click this keyframe once, select it, make sure it's orange, then click hold and drag it out. What you don't want to do when you're dragging keyframes, if I go to undo, is if I'm selected over here so it's orange, and if I click hold and drag this, it starts kind of like doing this weird long selection. So when you are in Flash, sorry, in Adobe Animate, uh, you click on this guy, wait for a second, then click hold and drag it along. Great, so he extends it along a whole time frame there. But there's no animation between here. You can see it's not green, so I'm gonna right click it, go to create shape tween, and it should loop around. So I'm gonna preview in a browser. So I'm gonna hit file save. Um, I wanna preview in a browser. Remember it's command return on a Mac or control enter on a PC. Or you can go the long way and click on this one. And what it'll do is it'll open up in a browser. Okay, mine's open in a different window. There he is. Okay, and it's morphing up there and then back. You can see it's just kind of looping by default. You'll see it here, it loops back and forth. This output here, there's a warning. Don't worry, we'll do that in the next video. Ignore that for the moment. All right, that's how to implement a shape tween um, with a little bit of extra things with some backgrounds and um, adding extra keyframes and looping it around and stuff. All right, see you in the next video. All right, that's it for the free video. It was pretty good, right? What I really want you to do now is I want you to go and sign up for my full course. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're keen. I have loads of other good free stuff, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, how did I, good YouTube people?